CASH does not support multiple inheritance. I have I1 and I2 interface 1 and interface 2. What is the name of the class that you have here? You have the compute as a class. I cannot perform multiple inheritance when it comes to the concept of CASH. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session on interface. Interface, what exactly interface is all about, sir? which is coming in between is what we call it as the interface. All right, but it is quite different when it comes to the CASH. So in today's session, I will be discussing how exactly we implement the interface. All right, so in the previous session, I have discussed a lot of basic topics about interface. Let me just recollect that before I start this topic to all of you. So guys, what exactly interface is all about? So yes, if I want to discuss about interface, the first thing that you need to remember is all about inheritance. I cannot perform multiple inheritance when it comes to the concept of CASH. CASH does not support multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance in the sense what? Uh, I cannot have more than one base class to one derived class. That's what you need to remember. That is not possible when it comes to the CASH. So to overcome from that problem, so we have the concept of interface in CASH. That's what you need to remember. And the most importantly that you need to remember is all about the keyword which I use to create the interface. Yes, obviously I have to use a keyword that is interface to create any interface. And most importantly, by default, it's going to be abstract and it will be having the modifier as public. What is the meaning of abstract, sir, which you have already told? Yes, abstract in the sense there will be no implementation. So it is empty, kali, kali. All right, so that's what you need to remember. But when it comes to the public, public in the sense anybody, anywhere you can access. Okay, that's our meaning of public. So this is the basic thing that you need to remember. And of course, I cannot create the objects for the interface. So this is the most important things that you need to remember before I get into the topic of interfaces. All right, so guys, now we have discussed why do I need interface and what is interface quickly. So what I have, this I have discussed in previous session in detail, but before I start this concept, you should know that. So if you have not watched my previous session, so please go back and check my previous session. I have done that in detail. All right, let's start the today's topic. How do I implement an interface? Why the word implementing is coming here? Because I've already told you, so the interface, what we are trying to create, it's abstract. There will be no implementation. That's what the first point that you need to remember. So fine, if there is no Im implementation when you are creating the interface, then where do I implement it? So how do I get the job done? So for that, I have a solution guys. This is how we implement the interfaces. So what is the syntax? I should use the class to implement the interface. And what is the syntax for that? So observe here, I have to use a keyword called class as usual. And then followed by you have to write the name of the class. And most importantly, you have to use the colon after the name of the class and followed by the interface, which you want to implement the interface name you have to mention. You don't have to write the keyword interface here. You just have to write the name of the interface. That is most important. So that is what you will be writing it here. And then you will be mentioning the body of the class. This is how you will be implementing any interface using the class. Sir, I have a doubt. So can I implement more than one interface at a time in one class? Yes, of course you can implement. So what is the syntax for that? Yes, let's check that, observe here. I have a keyword called class, then followed by I have a class name, correct? So I can give the name for the class. All right, that's normal, there is no big deal in that. Then followed by colon I have. So here, imagine I can also perform the inheritance, okay? I can also have my super class name, followed by I can have the comma separator and then I can implement the interface one and I can implement interface two. I can also have n number of interfaces which I wanted to implement in this particular class is what you need to remember. So fine, sir, 
can I implement more than one interface in one class and also I can inherit or I can also inherit from the base class? Yes, of course you can do that using one single class is what I meant to say with this example, my dear students. So hope you understood this concept. Let me explain this with the program. So guys, imagine I have a class in the name of the class is A and I'm uh, using B. B is a base class. Okay, from base class, I'm inheriting. So which is the subclass here? A is a subclass. And then I have I1 and I2 interface 1 and interface 2. I can have so on. So n number of interfaces, I can have it here. That's not an issue is what you need to remember. So fine. So this is my class. Let me take an example to explain uh, all of you. So guys, observe here. What is that I have here? I have a keyword called interface. What is the keyword? Interface. What is the meaning of it? Then you are trying to create the interface. You are defining the interface. So fine. Name of the interface is addition. So inside that you have a method called add. So why don't I have the implementation for this add method? So you need to remember one thing always when it comes to the interface, there will be no implementation. That's what you need to remember here. So fine. I have one more. Uh, do I call this as an interface? Yes, of course, because the keyword interface. So this is a separate interface. The name of the interface is multiplication. Do I have a method? Yeah. So do I have a definition? Do I have a you know implementation for this method? No. So where do I define this methods? Where do I implement this interface? What is the meaning of it, sir? You are saying implementation, implementation. Let me just show you that. Guys, observe, I have a class. What is the name of the class that you have here? You have the compute as a class. All right. So what is this addition? Do you all remember? We, we saw this addition long back, correct? So observe here, addition is the interface that we have. Addition and multiplication is the two interfaces which I'm going to implement in this class. Observe here, okay? Compute is a method, right? So class name and the method name is same. So what do I call this as? It's a constructor, dude. Yes, so we are initializing the value for x and y and then observe here. I'm trying to implement the add method. Where did you find the add method? Observe here, all right? So I'm implementing this method. All right, so what it has to do, what this method should do is what I'm trying to define it here. Okay, so that's what you need to observe. In the same way, I had multiplication, right? So MUL is a method that I have here. I'm trying to implement that here. So this is how I will be able to implement the interfaces what I have already created is what you need to remember with the help of one class. By this, I have come to an end of this interface chapter. So wait for my next lecture to see the next chapter. All right, so take care. Take care of your health. Bye-bye. Happy learning.